Hello everyone, my name is Victor Singh and my research covers the diffraction of sound around blind corners. The, the supervisor for this project has been Carl Gross of the ME department. Now the motivation behind this, uh, or this research is related to the practical application of, sound, of uh, source localization. Particularly, these have been dominated by electromagnetic wave technologies such as radar, LIDAR, and LORAN. Such technologies have allowed for such things as uh, accurately mapping geographic topographies as well as the traditional localization problem. However, there's an issue. Currently, any sensor that employs these technologies are limited to the line of sight. That is, if there is a large obstacle, say for example a large building, as the object that you're trying to detect moves, moves in closer, closer to this obstacle, it goes into something known as a shadow zone. And in the shadow zone, the sensor is unable to detect the possible location of the object. Well, then the question was, is there a way to circumvent this? One idea was, what if we use sound waves? Sound waves have this unique property of being able to propagate around corners, something known as diffraction. To be able to use these fields, one could possibly locate where the object might be. Now, a lot of analysis has been conducted on diffraction around wedges. However, for the most part, the applications have been based primarily on noise barrier controls, such as those found on highways, railroad tracks, and airports. My research was to explore these analytical propagation models and look at not just the magnitude and the field drop, but also the phase variations. The assessment being, if you can look at the different magnitudes and the phase variations, and they're sufficient, you can localize the object. The majority of my research span mostly theoretical work where I compare different source and receiver locations around a wedge and determine the resulting diffracted fields. I also vary the frequencies and determine that, for the most part, the wedge acts as a low-pass filter. Now, to verify these theoretical calculations, I uh, conducted laboratory experiments where I had a speaker on one side and a microphone on another and varied the locations and measured the measured fields. And here's just a picture of all the equipment that I used. Now we return back to our original question. Can we localize the source? One way of doing it is something that sonar technologies have been using recently, and that is known as mass field processing. In its most basic explanation, mass field processing takes information from, uh, from measured signals of a source in, a, an, un, in an unknown environment and comparing those, to those source calculations that a theoretical model would produce at various locations. The idea being that if you can compare those theoretical source at various locations to the original source, one could get a cross correlation where you get a signal amplitude of the output versus position. Now the peak of this output correlates to the possible location of the source. Now, this peak can be more prominent and more sharper if the fields generated by the theoretical source in this environment are relatively unique. Hopefully, the idea is that we can utilize not only electromagnetic technologies, but also sound waves, such that if we're trying to detect an object in the direct field, we can use electromagnetic technology. However, as this object moves into the diffracted field, or the shadow zone, we can use the propagation of sound around corners, i.e. diffraction, to measure the possible location of the object. Thank you.